Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Sunday the 18th of June. This video is going to be an update of the King Street development and also having a quick look at South King Street. This is the building that used to be the old registry office and then a play group and social services. It's been a few things. Not been here for a long while because it's all been just completely demolished. Nothing left. It's still all fenced off. I'm on Charlie Road right now, just turning down onto South King Street. But we're just going to take a really super duper quick look here before we head on to King Street. And you can see there, there's been a nice new parking area made. Look at that. All nice, new, neat tarmac. And yeah, so that's what this area is going to be a car park it's not in use yet it's all fenced off but I would imagine when the whole thing's completed this fence will be taken away and people will be able to park up here because the bottom part there if you zoom in a little bit you can see cars are parked on that So I would imagine this will be opening pretty soon. It looks ready. Maybe they've just got to finish a top bit here. Yeah, look, if we go to this very... I don't know, actually. No, it looks finished, guys. It looks... completely finished. I'll just head around the corner very quickly onto Albert Road and we'll have a look from that side. So yeah, looking at it from this side, it looks pretty darn complete. I'm unsure why it's still fenced off. Maybe they've just got a couple of things to finish off and tweak, but for sure We now know that that area is going to be, well it is, it's, it is a car park. Anyway, let's just head up here and turn around the corner and get onto King Street and update that area. And just like that, I am on Church Street, the junction of Church Street, Corn Street, King Street, South King Street and King Square and we are here now to look at this end of the development so we're just going to pop across this car park this is where the old ABC Empire Hippodrome Syndicate building stood I actually do have a video of this being demolished it was one of the earliest demolitions I filmed so if you want to check that out, it is on the channel. If I can remember, I will link it at the end of this video. But I'll possibly forget that. We shall see. Now, there's been a lot going on since we were last here. When I normally walk down to work on a Sunday, I end up going prom area because I do my Blackpool Central development video and then I'll do more videos on the prom and I'll walk down the prom and do the new hackets and stuff like that so I rarely get up to this area but I did do the Blackpool Central the other day so today we can come this way and keep you guys updated on what's going on here so look, since we were last here this big structure has emerged. There we can see the big crane and right behind it is this huge concrete blocky building. 
it's definitely extending out towards the back because we can see there's foundations in there and there's a load of rebar in there and there'll be a lot of concrete pouring. They will build around the crane. That is the same crane that was at the old Yates' site and they built around it and one of the I was filming at the 80s site and I spoke to one of the workmen on site I says probably a stupid question but how do you get the crane down when you've finished building and he's like oh it comes apart we build around it and then it just comes apart which is kind of obvious really if you think about it but yeah there you go that's all we can see through this gate so that's gate three so let's nip around the corner and take a look through the next gate we're not quite at the next gate yet but i just wanted to show you this from the side it's a bit of a bad view because hello sun the sun's right in front but here we can see how long this building's on the side that just this cabin's on the top of there look that's what it looks like doesn't it it looks like they've put all the cabins on top of there, so I don't know. But it's going to be office blocks up here. That's what I read on one of the Blackpool community pages. So that is going to be office blocks. So let's just get to the corner here. This will be the corner of Dean's Gate. And we shall peep through the gate and have a look at the site from this angle this is this gate four so here we can see it from this side and there we can see the outline perimeter footprint whatever you want to call it of these new blocks that's going up so this in the middle what do you think it's going to be what lift shafts possibly you can see the crane there from that side so the building itself is going to be quite big I'm going to walk around and just see if there's anything we can see from the other side Take a quick peek here we can see the artist impression of the finished building nice little walk around relaxing square bit there and just for positional reference you can see that's where we are that's the side of the hot building and that's a new build so we're just going to go around this corner and see if there's anything we can spot through here I suspect there won't be but oh I don't know maybe a peep that's another artist impression that's a better one look that's the front of the hop there so we're looking at that in real life and then that in the picture and that is the finished building it's all office blocks apparently a lot of them have been already rented out so this is gate one well we've got a great view of the crane guys look at that and this is the development from this side so there aren't many views but we have managed to get a look everywhere There we go, look at that. So that's going to be a lot bigger than that little bit in the middle. Is there anything we can see through there? Probably not, but I'm going to peek through anyway. Oh, that's a nice view of the top of the church and the tower. Look at that. A little bit of zoomy zoomy in there. Very nice. And we've got this nice curved railing walking all the way down there. I mean, it'd be nice if we could walk down there and have a peek, but we can't. Well, that'd be cool if we could do that. So, yeah, 
that, guys, is more or less it for King Street development. See Cookson Street there. That's George Street heading down there towards Devonshire Road. And I am going to just walk down here now towards Talbot Road because I'm going to give you folks a Talbot Gateway update because we have not done one of those in like forever. There apparently have been some problems with the hotel there. But they're saying it's going to start up again and everything is going to be okay. Anywho, let's go and take a look down there. So for this video, this is going to be the end. So I'm going to say thank you for watching. Please, please, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I shall see you all soon in the next one. Goodbye.